So, good morning. This morning's class is called What Goes Up Must Come Down. Um, we're not just going to be jumping up and down the whole session. We're going to be thinking more about the pull of gravity. So, as something goes up, obviously gravity's either pushing on us to pull us back down um, and we're having either to resist against it or go with it. So, I want you to really think about the slowness and the control so when you if you do come down from something you're uh controlling the descent rather than just using gravity to sort of push you down so as usual let's start by coming down onto your back think about the back of the neck being long the shoulder blades open the sacrum resting heavily onto the mat and we're just going to start to breathe into our bodies this morning so Big breath into the lower belly, feel the belly expand as you inhale. Exhale, feel everything soften back to the center line. As you inhale, feel the ribs move up, outwards and backwards towards the mat, that 360 expansion. As you lie here, remember, think about the back of the neck being long, the shoulder blades open, the sacrum resting onto the mat. And you're just going to take a few breaths here, really breathing into that body. As you lie here, take a moment to think about how your body feels this morning. Notice whether you're holding on to any tightness or tension. And if you are, just use your breath as a vis visualisation tool. It's an amazingly powerful visualisation tool. And just send it to those areas of the body that feel tight or tense, moving that tension or tightness away. And then take a moment to tune into your mind. Notice what's coming up for you this morning. Notice whether it feels busy, still, calm, anxious. Just take any unwanted thoughts that aren't going to be helpful or serve you for the time that you're on the mat, pop them on an imaginary cloud and just let them float past your eyes, allowing you to be fully connected, fully present on your mat this morning. Last breath here. And then we're going to take our hands to our thighs, peel our bum off the mat, think about giving your glutes a prod, giving them a tap, make sure they're alive this morning. Hands to the two front hip points, middle finger to pubic bone, thumb to belly button. And then you're just going to think about starting to walk your feet. So the left knee hovers over the left hip, place it down right over right. And I want you to really control as you move, control this movement. So your right foot, when it lifts, might want to fall back down to the mat. But I want you to slowly control against gravity. So control the descent. Good, as we walk, we're gonna take the right hand to the sky, pull back on the right fingers. Really spread through the forearm, spread through the palm. Good, keep breathing. Notice this loading into your glutes. And then swap hands, pull the left fingers back with the right hand. Good, really load into the bum. Keep breathing, keep those abdominals toned. Spread the thumbs, spread the fingers, push up to the ceiling with the same level that you're pulling back. And then we're going to come just to pulsing, take your hands to fists, circle in those wrist joints, move left to right. So circle both ways, just really working into the uh, wrists as you start to pulse. Again, lifting against gravity this time. And then we're going to do our classic jazz hands, big stars, tight fists. And let's really warm up our forearms before we get on them this morning. Good. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Let's shake them off. And then pause at the top. You're going to roll upper back, middle back, lower back down to the mat. Peel your bum off again. Vertebrae by vertebrae, and then soften upper back, middle back, lower back, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way down to the mat. Good. We're going to come onto our abdominals, so interlace your hands behind your head, elbows frame your face. Just lift the head, push the head back into the hands, open through the back of the neck this morning, and then soften back down. Inhale here, exhale, lift. 
Use that low belly to hug you in. Imagine it's like a netting and it's netting in towards the midline. Inhale, come down. Exhale, we lift. Knees over hips. Hold it here. You're going to extend the left leg to 70 degrees. Push through the heel. Hug into the abdominals. Rebend the knee. Inhale, come down. Exhale, we lift. Lifting up into those elbows. Right leg extends 70 degrees. Push through the heel. Good. Hug into the midline. Nice. Rebend the knee. Inhale, come down. Both feet are off the floor if you want to. You can keep one down if needs be. But both my knees are hovered. Exhale, lift. Left leg extends, twist to the right, lift up into those elbows. It's a small twist, moving one inch from the breastbone, back to centre, rebend the knee, inhale, come down, good. Exhale, we lift. Right leg extends, twist to the left, lift into those elbows, good. Hugging into the abdominals, rebend the knee, back to centre, inhale, come down. Exhale, we lift. Left leg extends, twist right, slice the left arm to the outer edge of the right thigh, right arm comes to meet it, left hand takes right wrist, pull towards the bottom of the mat, feel those deep abdominal connections kicking in, should feel juicy, rebend the knee back to centre, inhale, come down, last one, exhale, lift, right leg extends, twist left, slice the right arm to the outer edge of the left thigh, left arm comes to meet it, Right hand takes left wrist, pull towards the bottom of the mat. We're pulling low, not high. Hug into those abdominals. Back to centre, rebend the knee. Bring the knees just into the chest a moment. And then we're going to do some core scissors. So take your hands kind of under your bum so that you're just um, kind of giving your low back a bit of support. And then we're going to take our legs. So we're going to scissor our legs, pointing our toes working into our abdominals but also our hip flexors so head is on the mat but really hug those low bellies okay we want to work into the deep abdominals we don't want to let our upper muscles pull us forwards good let's go five four three two one good job knees to chest and then we're going to rock and roll and as we rock and roll we're going to try and stand up so stand up, come down to the mat. Don't worry if you don't get there, but this is the direction of travel. So you're coming up, rolling down, touching the mat, rolling forwards, standing up. Good. From here at the top, you're just going to interlace your hands behind your head. Elbows are wide, take a gaze up. Make sure you don't arch in the back. So engage the glutes, engage the abdominals. Elbows wide, take a look up to the sky. And then round through the neck as you slowly hinge, rounding all the way down to the mat. Take the elbows so you've just got a nice, soft um, kind of roundness in the back. And you're just allowing your back body to loosen a bit. Good. From here, land the hands. We're going to come to quadruped. So wrists under shoulders, hug the shoulders towards the hips. Knees under, hips, and then we're going to take a bird dog with a slight difference. So left leg goes long, right arm out in front, hover the left leg, lift it from the left bum cheek. Then you're going to tap the left toes and the left and the right fingers to the floor, lift again. So you're lifting and lowering. Good. Let's go three, two, sorry, one, we've got another five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Swap sides, so left hand comes out, right leg goes back, set that right shoulder on the body, don't let it slide up towards the ear, think about the neck, hug the belly, left arm lifts, right leg lifts, squeeze into that bum cheek, tap left toes, uh, right toes and left fingers, lift, good, four, three, two, one, and then we've got another five, keep hugging that right shoulder, work that back glute, three, two, one, nice work. Let's come into dolphin, interlace the hands, forearms on the mat, release the neck, tuck the toes, lift the bum to the sky, lengthen the back body, breathe. Now we're going to take the left leg long, knee to chest, so hug it in, extend it back, hug it in, extend, extend it back, working this hip joint, okay, you're pushing up, you're pulling in, but you're controlling that percent, good. Last one. 
Nice work, really pull it in. Good, swap sides, right leg goes back. Push through that heel. Hug the knee, um, knee to the chest as you pull the heel to the bum. Keep lifting out of those shoulders. Really stable, really secure here. Lift up into the abdominals, two more. Good, pull. Nice, last one, pull. Good, come down, take a wide leg child's pose. Breathe into those back bodies. Breathe those back ribs towards the sky. Feel the expansion laterally of the ribs. Big full breaths in and out through the nose. And then when you're ready, come and stand at the top of the mat. Soft knees. Feet are parallel. Grow along through the spine. Arms reach away, lift them up, lengthen the spine. Hinge backwards, sit back into the glutes. Blocks if you need them, plant the hands, left foot steps back, lower the left knee, bring the body up. We're coming into our 90-90. We're gonna just swing our arms forwards and back to get some real fluidity, real freedom. So just swing, stabilize through this left glute. Good, again, it's like a seesaw. Gravity's taking your arms down and back. So the whole, what goes up must come down. Keep thinking about leg, hands to the mat, step back, plank, zip up through the front line of the body, half plank if needs be, lower the knees, squeeze the bum, hug the belly, keep the neck drawing back, and then slowly hug the tummy as you lower, don't let those head to the shoulders drop forward. Good. Wide arm baby cobra, arms off the side of the mat, come onto your fingertips, pull the chest through, squeeze the bum, hug the belly, Nod the chin to the chest, so you open through the back line of the body and you're really squeezing those shoulder blades towards each other. Good, frame your shoulders, tuck the toes, lift from the belly, up and back, down dog. Walk the feet in, not the hands, have a little pedal, maybe get a little hip movement, uh, pelvis movement in there too, and then take the left foot forwards, lower the back knee, bring the body up on the other side, Squeeze that right bum cheek, lengthen the spine, and then let's swing. Good. Keep breathing. Just find that fluidity in the arm swing, forwards and back. Good. Nice. And then hands to the top of the mat, back foot steps in, come up to stand. Good. Moving on to sequence one. And have your feet a little bit wider, or hip distance apart. We're going to sit back into a squat, squeeze the glutes, come up. For four, sit back, three, two, squeeze the bum, one. Nice. As you lower back down, walk your feet out slightly so they're kind of towards the edge of the mat. Toes are slightly pointed out and we're going to lower a bit more. Lower and hold. Good. And then from here, hands to the mat, step back to quadruped. So wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. We're then going to rotate left to right in a modified side plank. So right arm down, take the left leg to the back of the mat, left leg hovers, reach that left arm up, pull that right shoulder down the back, and then come through the middle, left hand down, right knee down, right leg lifts, left, uh, right arm lifts, and you're just gonna go through these two. Okay, so make sure you move with control from left to right, back to the left again, right leg lifts, right arm lifts, Really hug the shoulder on each iteration. Make sure you're not just collapsing left to right. Good. Engage the glutes. Hug up into the belly. Good. Pull that left shoulder down the back. Nice. And then from here, step back into plank. Hold against gravity. Draw the neck back in space. Shoulders hugged on the back body. Lower the knees. Three half push-ups. So one inch or two inches lower, lift back up. Keep the neck drawing back in space. Make those triceps work. Nothing else is moving other than the elbows bending, so keep the neck drawing back. Good. And then we're gonna lower all the way with control, hold on to the belly, watch the neck doesn't dive forwards. Good. We're coming to our fish swim. So, arms out in front, legs out, reaching out behind, and then we're gonna lift the arms and the legs, and we're gonna alternate them, so it's like we're swimming. I don't know why I call it a fish swim, but it's like more like we're swimming. Good, let's go five, hold the back body, three, two, 
one. Good job. Reframe the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift up and back to down dog. Have a pedal of the feet. Breathe. Nice. Breathe into those back ribs. And then from here, we're going to lower the knees. Come down onto your forearms. So your forearms are crossed. Your hands are by your elbows. We're going to pull the left elbow up and then thread it kind of behind the right arm. So you pull the left elbow up and then thread the left arm behind the right arm reaching. We're getting a thoracic twist here. So we're really working into that upper back. And again, lifting against gravity. But as it goes up, it must come down. Good. Last one. Control the descent. Good. From here, plant the hands. Left foot stops to, steps to the top of the mat. Right foot steps to the top of the mat. Come up to stand. Good. Again, think about your position. Soft knees, lengthen the spine. Arms forward, reach them away, lift them up. Length in the spine, hug into the abdominals. Good. Hinge back, bring the blocks if you need them. Sorry, we're not hinging back, we're doing our squats. So feet slightly wider, sit back, squeeze to stand up. Good. Really sit back into those glutes. Nice. Three, two, find that space in the hip. One. Good. Feet slightly wider to the edge of the mat, toes turning out slowly lower. And you're in your, you're kind of not in a molasses squat. You can go as low as you want, keeping the back long, opening up into the hips. But again, try and keep your glutes engaged so it's active. Good. And then from here, hands to the mat, come back to um, plank, uh, quadruped, wrists on the shoulders, knees on the hips, and then we're moving modified side plank left to right. So this time we start on the left. So the right arm lifts, reach that right leg away, left, uh, right arm lifts, right hand down, right knee down, left arm lifts, left leg lifts, pull that right shoulder, make sure it's setting on the back body, hug the abdominals, left hand down, left knee down, really engage that glute, make sure this shoulder isn't pulling up to the ear, it's hugging on the back, right hand down, good, we've got one more each side, keep pulling that arm into place, Shoulder into place, hugging it, making those shoulder stabilizers work. Good. Last one. Nice. Pull that shoulder down the back, reach through that heel. Good. And then back to the mat, step back for plank. Hold against gravity, hug those shoulder blades on the back body. Watch the neck, squeeze the bum. Good, lower the knees. Three half push-ups, hold the front of the body. Elbows bend. The neck's drawing back, you're slightly soft between the shoulders so that your shoulder blades are sitting on the back body, they're not pushing apart, good. And then slowly lower all the way, elbows bend, good, down to the mat, back to our swing. So, legs go long, really reach through those toes behind you, arms come forward and then you hover the arms, hover the head, hover the legs. And then let's swim. So we're really alternating feet and arms and working into the back line of the body. Everything on the back line is engaged. Good. Three, two, one. Good job. Release. Frame the shoulders. Lift up and back to down dog. Walk the feet in, not the hands. Pedal those calves. Maybe add in a little hip wiggle, depending on how tight you feel. Move into your body this morning. Good. And then from here, lower the knees, lower to the forearms. We're going to pull the right forearm this time. So the right forearm, pull, sorry, elbows pulling to the sky, release the neck to the left. Thread the right arm, almost like punch it across behind the left. Pull up, reach. Pull up, reach. Good. Pull up, reach. We've got two more. Good. Notice which side might feel a little stickier. Last one, reach, good. And then hands to the top of the mat. Right foot steps forwards, left foot steps forwards. Come up to stand. Nice. So we're gonna add on a little bit this time, sort of change it a little bit. So squat and then come up onto your toes and balance. And then, whoosh, she says, sit back down, squat, balance. If you wanna add in a little jump, you can. Totally up to you. On the next one, we'll jump as well. 
So three, two, one. And then come down to that malasana again. So feet slightly wider, lower into that squat, engage your glute. Okay, feet are slightly rotated out. Your bum is engaged, good, working into those hips. And then you're gonna palm the hands, bring the feet back, left foot steps back, left hand is down, you're in a twisted crescent. So pull that left shoulder away from the air, reach back through the left heel, hinge in that right hip. If you're finding like you're too rounded in the spine, bring a block under your left hand. Keep pulling that left shoulder away from the air. Tap the left knee down, lift up, squeeze the bum. Left knee taps, squeeze the bum as you lift it up. Good. Two more. Tap it down, lift, squeeze, tap it down. Good. From here, you land the back foot, lift your body up to warrior two. So the back foot's rotated out and then reverse. Lift that right arm up and over. It's like a seesaw. Breathe into that body. Lift into these right ribs. Come forward, left hand down, toes turn back to the front of the mat. You're doing the same, so twist to the right, left knee taps, squeeze the bum, lift it. Good. Nice, keep breathing, keep pulling this left shoulder away from the ear. Two more. Good. Whew. Nice. And then from here, land the back foot facing to the outer edge of the mat, lift your body up, come through reverse warrior, finding a little bit of fluidity here. Lift into these ribs, strong lower body, good. And then from here, we rotate back, either hands to the mat or hands to the block. Slightly move the right foot back, lift the left leg. You're in standing splits. Have a soft bend in that right knee. Really think about length in the spine. Then you're gonna load the right foot, left knee to chest, balance. Take that left leg back. Standing splits, reach through that back heel, good. Move with control, okay? Find your balance where your body is in space. Send that left leg back. You're moving up and down, good. Again, working with the body, it's having to recalibrate every time we go from low to high. Reach through that back left leg, knee to chest again, keep the hip flexion, pelvis is neutral. Lengthen the spine, nice. Reach the leg back, knee to chest, last one. Good, woo, find that balance. Send the left leg back, hands to the mat, lower the left foot, lower the left knee, and we're gonna do our rolling side planks again. So, you've got an option here if you wanna make it harder. You can come out to full plank, and then roll left to right. Feet are stacked, but unless you really are stable in that shoulder, please don't do it, because you'll probably do much better to stay in something that you can effectively engage well, like modified, with the leg hover, get that really good, really stable. Nice, I think we've got one more each side. <laughs> Pull the left shoulder down the back, right shoulder pulls down the back, good. And then from here, left foot steps to the top of the mat, right foot steps to the top of the mat, come up to stand. Good job. Again, we're going to start with our squats again. So feet either wider and sit back, come onto your toes, balance. This is harder than just doing a jump. So maybe do this progression on this one and then do the jump on the next one. Good. Push through the toes and hold. Remember, don't let your ankles roll out to the outer edge. Really drive through that big toe, good. Nice, and then from here, lower. Feet go a little wider, toes are pointing out a little bit more. And just see if you can get a bit more depth in your squat. Length in the back, squeeze the bum, you're really working hard here. Good, and then plant the hands. Left foot wiggles back into normal. Right foot steps back, so you're in your crescent lunge. Again, if you need space, it's no, like, use the blocks. Much better to do that than to compromise in the body. Squeeze that right glute, rotate to the left. Pull that right shoulder away from the air. From here, we lower the right knee. Lift up against gravity, squeeze that glute. Lower, squeeze, lower, squeeze. Good, two more. Nice work, keep pulling the right shoulder away, drop the neck, good. And then you land the back foot, lift the body up. We're coming to reverse warrior two. So lift that left arm up and over, breathe into those 
left ribs. Feet are firm and landed. Reach through those left fingers. Come back down to the mat. Right hand down. Right toes point forwards again. Open to the left. Tap the right knee down. Squeeze the glute up. Good. Nice. Lift and lower. Control the descent. Don't let gravity push you down. So really slow and controlled. You're moving through treacle both down and up. Obviously harder against gravity lifting up. Good. Rotate the back foot. Lift your body up. Reverse warrior two. Breathe. Reach through those left fingers. Good. And then back to the front of the mat. Land the hands. Left foot moves back just a smidge. Right leg lifts. Standing splits. Reach through that back heel. Soft bend in this left knee. Okay, keep it buoyant. And then right knee to chest. Lengthen the spine. Good. Send that right leg back. Good. Right knee to chest. Pull it in. Send it back. Good. Two more. No, three more. <laughs> Smooth with control. Again, you're moving up and down. Your body will probably want to fall down. Gravity's helping you. Slowly descend. Okay, if you want to just add this in, you don't even have to do standing splits. You can just do warrior three. Again, make the practice your practice. Hands to the mat, lower the right knee. Left leg comes to the back of the mat. Again, options if you want to be in full side plank, stabilize through that right shoulder. It's a lot more demand. Lift up through the ribs and then roll to the other side. Lift up, breathe, squeeze the bum. Roll again. Good. Nice. Pull that. Shoulder down the back in every iteration. Lift up, squeeze the bum, squeeze the thighs. Good. Release the neck. We've got, I think, one more this side. Good. Nice. And then right foot steps forwards, left foot steps forwards. Come up to stand. Good. 